Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to my third leaderboard for Potri Indonesia 2022. Well, welcome! As I have said before, this is my third leaderboard for Putri Indonesia 2022. I'm supposed to release my reviews for all the interviews that they did, the interview challenge. However, the winner has already been revealed, all the winners for each group, and has, I, but it's okay. It, it feels like I don't need to release my commentaries anymore, so I just reserve all of them in this leaderboard. And I have watched all the groups from group 1 to group 9, and based on that, those are my primary basis for this third leaderboard for Potri Indonesia 2022. And if it's just up to me, I will just put all the great speakers in the semi-finalists in the first cut and then let them battle it out in the finals. Well, here's my top 13. Before I made it top 11, but I have seen online that they're making it top 13. I hope someone could confirm in the comment section later. So here's my current top 13 in the order of my preference. But before we proceed, the finals is on the 27th of May 2022, so that's more than a month from now. And they will be crowning three winners, Miss Universe Indonesia 2022, Miss International Indonesia 2023, and Miss Supranational Indonesia 2022. So again, going back, here's my top 13 in order of my preference. Starting with my number 13, Jambi. Bella Pospita. Personally, I didn't expect her to be on this list, but after her performance and the interview, I was blown away. I mean, she exudes so much sincerity and honesty in the way she speaks and answers the question. She may make the first cut, but I'm not sure if she'll go very far in the competitions. My number 12 goes to DKI Jakarta 4, Norkotima. Her answers were okay to me, but what I love about her was her personality and confidence when she speaks. Aside from that, I think she looked well polished overall, so that is an additional point for her too. My number 11 is Kalimantan Barat, Arista Octalia. I so love her confidence during the interview, and she gave all the right, I mean, she got all the rights to be confident because the girl can speak. My only criticism is she speaks too long, so I wonder how she'll do knowing that they only have 30 seconds as a time limit usually when, it, when they're on stage. So with that way of speaking, and I'm talking about speaking too long, I'm not sure how she'll handle it with the time limit. So hopefully she'll work on that. If ever, my number 10 goes to DKI Jakarta 5, Cindy Mae Maguire, a very, very fluent English speaker, but I was a little bit disappointed with how she answered and defended her answers. She recovered on the second question though, so that's the reason why she's here. Because if she messed up the second question too, she wouldn't be here, but thankfully she did. But I really wanted to see her work on it even more, especially with how she defend and listen to the question. This is why it's very important that you listen and analyze the question carefully. I know it's a bit of a challenge simply because you have to answer the question on the spot, but that's how, you, that's how a beauty queen should be. So more practice and with her capabilities of speaking, I believe she is going to work on it very, very well. My number nine goes to Maluku Utara, Gusti Chironisa. This one could be one of the potential dark horses. I love her simple looks and simple styling, but most importantly, it is how she handled both questions with confidence and strong content that made me remember her. So that's why she's here. So hoping to see her make some more waves in the next weeks to come, especially we're very close to the finals now. I believe, as I said earlier, she's going to be one of the potential surprises in this match. And she's beautiful too. I didn't notice it before, but after the interview round, I was really shocked that she's she can speak very well and she's also looking beautiful. My number eight goes to Bali 2. Jasmine Rowe. 
another fluent English speaker in the competition. She was great to me during the interview round with the exception of the second question where she stumbled a little bit. But good thing is that she was able to recover beautifully. So I think she is slowly gaining momentum in this competition and that is a good thing. This is I know she already got experience but as what I've said before on my previous leader previous leaderboard Putri Indonesia this year is not a joke. There's a lot of strong candidates too. My number seven goes to Maluku, Jasmine Cordillan. During her session, I wasn't able to get the translation, but thankfully, someone did it for me. Someone commented the exact translation of her response, which I think it's good. Her answer was okay, to be honest, but I wish she could improve more on the delivery, especially on the eye contact, and I would love to see some more on the personality, too, when she speaks, because, you know, she's one of my favorites. She was my number one in my second leaderboard, so hopefully she'll improve. My number five goes to Sumatra Barat, Erviera Sianaz. She was at the bottom of my two previous leaderboards and I was really expecting to kick her out on the list on this third leaderboard, but her interview, her performance during the interview helped her a lot. I mean, she was beautifully styled and she speaks extremely well. I commend her a lot in the second question where she was able to defend her response strongly and back it up with her experience that was beautifully beautifully executed and i would list down her performance as one of the top 10 best performances in the interview round most definitely my number five goes to ban 10 one Carisi Francisca, she could potentially be a threat in the competition i love her profile and i love how she nailed both questions i just wanted her and her team to focus more on the styling i know i don't want to focus on the looks and the styling based on the interview round but since, since this is the leaderboard already i wanted to focus more on the speaking skills and the overall caliber of them as a contender and she's great when it comes to speaking and that's already a good thing but i wanted her and her team to work on the styling because i wasn't a fan of how she was styled during the interview i don't see a front runner and since she's in the top five here in my leaderboard i wanted to see a styling that would make her look like a real top five contender, okay? Because she's good. She's really, really good. Number four goes to DKI Jakarta 2. Saira Saima, as what I've said before as well, she's one of the strong speakers in this competition. My only issue is the delivery because there were times where she sounded a little bit monotonous and boring, but content-wise and with some improvements on the delivery as well, I can see her as someone who will give a head-to-head -head fight for the crown. Definitely one of the ladies that should be considered as a crown contender. Now let's go to my final three for this third leaderboard. My number three goes to Jawa Bara, Melanie Behrens. Being one of the early favorites, she certainly did not disappoint. Not only that, she's got one of the best looks during the interview, but she was able to out. She was able to do outstanding she gave an outstanding performances in both questions i mean she was she's now one of the clear favorites take home one of the three crowns i know she has already she's been one of the favorites for the crown before but that performance in the interview solidified it even more that she's really coming for one of those three crowns my number two goes to bali one Lakshmi me denise wardana the best performance in the interview round period i love her answers in both questions i love how she made it personal and made sure that she could be able to insert her purpose why she joined beauty pageant and at the same time talking about her advocacy which i really really find fascinating this is a kind of candidate who really joined beauty pageant because they have a reason and that's what we wanted to see someone who has a purpose why they join and that's what i saw in her and that's why i fell in love with her performance if this one goes all the way to the final five i'm not sure final six or until the final question round i can assure you 100 percent 101 even a guarantee that she will be taking home one of those three crowns i believe she will be unbeatable in the final question round but as of the moment my current number one for the third leaderboard for putri indonesia 2022 goes to banten two shinta yuliasmi the interview round was the moment i was waiting for for someone to shine and shinta yuliasmi 
definitely gave me a vibe of being our next Putri Indonesia winner. I placed her on the on the top spot because she's got one of the best faces in the faces in the competition. I know she's very beautiful in photos, but I don't want to believe at first because I am I was thinking maybe it's just Photoshop or edited or something. But that's why I didn't place her high in my second leaderboard. But after seeing how she looked in, in that interview, I was blown away. I was completely surprised at how beautiful she is and easily front runner right away. She's super, super gorgeous. Plus, she speaks extremely well. And most importantly, I can see her perfectly fitting in either of the three pageants, either universe or national or international. I can see her as diverse, flexible, that she can stand out in any of these three pageants. So right now, Shinta Yulyasmi from Banten 2 is my current number one for Potri Indonesia 2022 and that's why she's here. She's my number one for my third leaderboard. So that's it. This is my current top 13 for my third leaderboard for Potri Indonesia 2022 and I would love to know your thoughts. I know there's a lot of, fav of favorites of mine that were in my previous two leaderboards that is not here anymore, that are not here anymore. So I would love to talk about it. I would love to know your thoughts, especially with this new list, new rankings. So don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.